this at all. All right, so uh, continuing story time. Um, no, I'm good. Uh, well, yeah, the story about the salsa. So uh, continuing story time. So my coworkers went to this Mexican tantina for lunch. Um, the spicy salsa was not spicy at all. Um, and so, uh, so when the waiter came by again, I asked, and I'll admit this came off as way more rude than I intended. Um, I asked, can I just have a whole jalapeno to snack on because this was not spicy enough? So then he asked, okay, well, we have a Diablo sauce. Uh, would you like that? And I'm like, yes, please. That was actually an ideal level of spice for me. And then later, uh, after he came around again, He's like, oh, well, uh, he said, are you liking that Diablo sauce? And I'm like, yes, it's the perfect level of spice for me. He's like, oh, well, that's actually the spiciest sauce in the house. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, oh, cool, thank you. Uh, and then it it only occurred to me afterwards he gave me the spiciest sauce in the house out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, it worked out in the end. It is right, so we got... <laughs> in winner's finals. So oh. That's the five. I don't know why Escadale's, I mean, I kind of can guess. Escadale wanted to, was considering memeing this bracket, but I don't know how He much usually he does in the brackets. I don't know how much he knows Decidueye because he's been helping E.T. this whole time. So who knows? Who knows what we'll see. I mean, he got here because he beat Mikado, right? I think is what happened to I've, I've taught friends some things about characters I don't know how to play. <laughs> like, uh, I uh, recently took a trip to Herb. A couple months ago, I took a trip down to Wichita, Kansas, uh, introduced some of my friends to this game, um, and I just info dumped a lot of yeah. stuff on it's them hard. about the characters it's they were playing. I, I know. When, when I was trying to teach them how to play, I didn't tell them about Burst, because, like, it's just too complicated. First, you have to activate, then push again, you might lose it. How is that complicated? And I don't think I told them about support either. I just told right. them, like, this is how you guard, this is how you jump, this is how you punch. Just make it work. Ooh, Umbreon will snag into a tick throw. Very nice work from SK Dale. Sealing the support and crits. We go covering the bone rush. Very nice. Extreme speed will catch out the cross up. Very nice wake up grab, bringing SK Dale down to 7 HP really in a dream. 67 HP. Well, the burst, the burst healed them. The burst healed them. <laughs> yeah. And it keeps going. The gift that keeps yep. giving. That was the most questionable burst I've seen because. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was not gonna happen. There's Bud. Taking the first round. Yeah. I mean, I would have just hung on. I would have just hung on to it for round two, but that's just me. Like in duel, it might have made more sense because then he could put more pressure. But Spud definitely. Has such an easy time break. Right. Now, with the increased speed. He had the life lead. He didn't have hey, any reason to not time him out. Yeah. Up. Just a good old wake up DP. Just in every game, it just works. <laughs> you always DP on wake up. It just works every time in every game. Frenzy play. Oh my god, this one tells me sideways. It's minus a million years, but not if it hits. Yeah, Sir Spot has been very good about catching these cross up attempts from SK Dale. I really like how much Sir Spot's the car was involved since we first started using him. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I can't beat it now. Yeah. <laughs> Phase shift saves us, uh, saves Sir Spud. Bone rush to even it out again. Burst. Barely has the life lead, well, the life lead again. He's doing that. The... Doesn't look like he's look aiming to time out again though. Escadale, if he never gets hit, he bring this. Yeah. Very nice safety burst. He already burst. has the life lead. And all he did was activate burst. Now he's being super smart about this now. Oh no, the mix up. Ooh, extreme speed catches the burst. Very nice job. Force Palm for a lot of chip damage. Still maintaining the life lead. Not that he needs it. Gets the grab to secure game one. Very close. Very close, yes. Zell Escadale is really thinking about his resources, but he had to eat them except for Lucario because it's Lucario. That's what he does. All right. Let's see if he sticks by his means. the scars! Ah! All right. Let's see if SK Dale is going to get serious or keep memeing. Okay. I can't tell which this is, actually. Oh, no, this is a secondary. Uh, right. Isn't sense. it? Well, he tried to learn it, and it kind of fell off the cliff. Oh. 
but I don't know if Escadillo has a secondary. This might be the closest. Thing I was <laughs> I was told that Scissor was uh, Escadillo's secondary. Possibly, I just never see it because his guard chomp's so gosh dang good. It it really is. <laughs> Unless you ask oh, yeah. him. He, he was, he was he, definitely learning this at some point. I just don't know how long ago. Right. Well, it seems to be working out for him so far. Gets a full combo. Not sure if that was the optimal, but... No. I don't know why I went for safe defrago. Because, uh, I don't know. I guess it puts Lucario at base a little bit. Unless he just cheats through it. Bone Rush! Right. Right. See him put it work. That counter is phenomenal. At least with me. Oh my god, that was dumb. Ooh. dangerous. Ah, uh, double buff mute. I think he's dead. He probably is, yeah. <laughs> I can hear Skyrim's and yelling, this man is dead. <laughs> yeah, no, that kills. That Sky. is a dead bug. I wish I had. I want that. All right, switching up to the <laughs> Eevee this time around. Trying to stay on top of his spacing, but the counterattack will land nonetheless, as well as a wake-up grab right back into field. Right back into duel. What's neutral? Oh, nice. Oh, ducks under the... That was the 6x? I love how it just perfectly timed No, that was the 4x. No, that was counter. No, the scissor. Yeah, yeah. Well, he no, has, I thought that, that was the charge this is forex. Counter, and then charge forex is slightly lower. I think. Oh, I, I see. One of them is lower than the other one. Okay, I need to pay more attention. Because uh, if he's floating in the air, it's counter. If he's on his knees, it's the other one. His little bugo knees. Just by uh, buffs expire, getting caught by bug. Tries, oh, tries to call out something with extreme speed, but that is prime positioning for Scissor Burst. I don't know if he's dead, though. I don't doubt it. Um, I don't nah, think so, fine. but it, that is some meaty damage nonetheless. That's Having a hefty patience. life lead. That's not gonna... No, I'm not going to reach, but going to get him in close. Uh... Still manages to capitalize on the close distance. Uh... Ooh. Not gonna kill the bug, but gonna bring him down quite a bit. Force Palm on wake up, not gonna- Oh, ah! but the grab critting at one HP, what a, what a grab. What Somebody an called in the absolute there. unit of a grab. Yeah. That was a very, very interesting, like, I guess what's easy to even call it at the end of the game. Yeah. But I don't know, like, Spud just woke up first in field. That was never gonna work. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I, I understand Escadale's hesitation in rushing in on it, because had he gone for homing at the wrong time, he would have been just murdered. Very nice spacing with the, uh, the counterattack. So that one stuns the lower. Okay. Very nice force palm to even it out. Bone rush to take the life lead. Escadale down to, uh, down to half his health. Whoa. Very nice spacing. With the pressure not quite working out for him. Spud will get a full combo off of that. Fully charged Mew now. Frogbeer will catch whatever the heck Spud was trying to do there. <laughs> oh, I just dawned on me that we're in game three and I can't heal switch here. No? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sticking to it? Sticking to the bugs. But already sitting on burst. Yeah. Which good. Enjoying a very hefty advantage here. Escadale knows he's not doing anything yeah. until he feels threatened. And he feels just slightly threatened. Right. Oh! oh wow, very nice bullet punch to catch the end of that burst. Beautiful. Alright, this will get blocked, but I believe he'll still be plus. Yep. Is he plus Disengaging. or is he neutral? Help us out. Um I wanna say it's plus. Cause I know Lucario's a It's plus. it's not right, uh Lucario is plus four. Um okay. I mean it could also be neutral, but it's it's not plus ah! by a lot. The cross up's gonna Ooh oh. <laughs> 
very barely snags the life lead. And uh, Spud is sitting on match point or on set point right now. Indeed. Very nice counter attack to go into dual phase. Force Palm on Oki. Dive kicks into the counter attack. Let's get a will. Huh? Never. <laughs> Not quite a full combo, but he'll uh, he'll take that phase. Frog not able to cover the counter attack. Ooh, Ooh nice cross up though. No follow up, however. It's engaging, maintaining some space. Uh, Very nice safety burst uh, from. Oh, oh that's no. gonna that's oh, a burst no. confirm. Oh no. Ooh, attack ball fan crits. This oh. is gonna hurt a lot. Hurts too much, man. He was some kind of anyway. 49 he's HP. You turn whips, but the follow up does not. Okay. Can get burst, which is going to be Ooh. Oh! Really difficult. Almost a nice counterattack, but the extreme speed does beat it out. Sir Spud will take winner's finals 3 and 0. Oh. People of chat, Mew hurts. Indeed. <laughs> it hurts all of us.